How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So it is a very exciting day because tomorrow is uh, the big move. I'm moving everything uh, from the shelving units, the tissue culture, all the bioreactors into the new house. Uh, the carpet is gone, uh, floor is in, and we are ready to, to start taking everything to the new house. Uh, the only thing I'm not taking yet is the lamina flow hood as because if you remember I had to uh, fully disassemble uh, whenever I got it into this uh, room so I had to do it again I had to disassemble it take it to the new lab and assemble bike in place uh, it's not a really a big deal the only thing is like it's very heavy so I do need some help to to move it uh, anyways um, this channel has pretty much become like a temporary mission by your reactor during the last uh, few weeks and it's probably going to be like that for a little for a couple more weeks uh, but I want to have a little bit more different content as well um, but talking about the bioreactors uh, they are here um, a lot of these are very overdue and I think I want to take the opportunity to kind of start fresh once again like um, I want to take, I want to deflash, I want to clean all the bioreactors um, right now and then when I set it up into the new lab I want to place uh, some new plants. So I want to take the aquatic plants and I want to um, deflash them uh, just to show you uh, the amount of plants that I got. Alright so I have uh, three of the bioreactors, all of these have aquatic plants and as you can see they are actually doing very well. Um, well, they pretty much completely overgrown the containers. Uh, these are very long overdue. I should have harvested harvested these plants a long time ago. I actually did for the Alternativa Reniki. I did took uh, cuttings a couple of times. And what happened is when I cut the, took the cuttings on this one, pretty much immediately after, after two weeks, it was pretty much already full once again. Uh, but it's been like this for probably over two or three months, uh, all of these uh, containers. So I can say it's very overdue and it is time to, for me to get the plants out of here. So let's start with the uh, alternate, alternate area, Reniki uh, Rosenberg. I'm pretty sure I say that wrong, but let's get it started. So I just want to take this ring wrap. up on oh, this plant's looking nice now this uh, this plant got contaminated with um with bacteria as you can see and actually i should probably be wearing a mask it kind of stinks um look at that very healthy looking plant. actually i want to get closer as i, I need to get glass and gloves and i want to show you up close Look at that, it's beautiful, beautiful plants. All right, so I have the plants. I have my gloves because I think they are, they have bacteria on it. And so imagine, like I imagine this is clean and it doesn't have any bacteria and I'm, I'm on the lamina flow hood on a sterile conditions. Just imagine that. So what I would do, I would grab my forceps and my scissors or my knife, and then I will just want to start chopping. I just grab it with my, with my forceps and I will start you chopping everything up, uh, get it low, and then you just harvest that, and then in about two weeks, it's useful again, and then you can do this again repeatedly over like every two to, to four weeks. And it, these plants do very well in the bioreactor. Um, if you um, keep, uh, if you have a planted uh, tank, you already know that one of the tricks to um, to make your, your plants look bushier is to trim them up. Because what happens is when, when you trim, the you take the, the tops out of the plants, uh, you pretty much remove the apical dominance of the plant and you uh, promote lateral growth. So if I cut the plant, if I cut the top of the plant, on every node, it just want to send more shoots on the side. So basically you are uh, trim it up low, but you use you are creating more lateral shoots. So let me put this to the side and let me open 
I want to take this out, but I want to have all of them all together. Well, so I have this is the S wrappings, a very long overview as well. And all of these I started from one very small um, plant, as you can you um, may, you can go back into the older videos and you see how I started and basically this is the results and like I said these plants have been like this for well over three months so uh, they do grow fast and they do grow very well and obviously as well if I just have uh, been on top of this and actually trim these plants back I would have had more plants and also I only started with one very small piece so imagine if you start with let's say uh, 10 pieces or 50 pieces it just grows so fast look at this beautiful beautiful plants yes the ones on the bottom uh, they don't look that good and they also have a little bit of bacteria um, some of these aquatic plants are a little bit more dif uh, difficult to control than the bacteria but man these plants look great um, lots, of, lots of growth all right i want to take this out here in a moment let me grab the, the last one and the last one is a plant that I have very good success with uh, not only on the bioreactor but also in traditional tissue culture and I have done quite a few experiments with these plants you already may have seen this plant before this is a Littorella uniflora a plant that does very well uh, it doesn't matter what kind of media I use uh, I know some people ask like what kind of media should I use for this plant or this other plant and also for, for Littorella uniflora, for Utinera uniflora, this plant just doesn't care, it just grows on anything. Um, it open. Looks good. Um, there are some dead tips on top, but look at that, it looks great. Uh, it's all growing all the way to the sides, on the bottom as well. But they are doing, they are doing very well. So let's start with this one. Why not? Let's take this out of here and let me just take this straight off if I can. I don't know if I can. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Come on. Look at all the roots on the bottom. Big math. So, um, I mean, you're probably talking about, I mean, you are saying that maybe a small cup tissue quarter may cost about 10 to $15. I mean, this is probably worth about $50 or maybe $50 to $100. It is quite a bit in here. Um, but I mean, like I say, is growing very fast i could have removed pretty much almost everything and just left a little piece and then just come back on very relatively quickly so i just want to keep this right here i want to make a thumbnail so i want to keep it that over there get this out let's see how i want to do this take this out Kind of a little pink, some bacteria in here. Let me put this back in here. This is kind of nasty, kind of just dripping all this bacteria on it. Uh, but even with the bacteria, I mean, the plants are very healthy, they're looking great. So, here I had to wash this. And Lastly, the S wrappings. Take this out. Take the filter out. Oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Amazing. 
So I use this little corner that I also have uh, plants on it. So that's it. Um, plants are doing great. Um, let's take a thumbnail somehow like this. Something like this. Well, I need to get this out of the way. There we go. There we go, I think this is a good thumbnail. Okay, so, uh, these plants are doing great. Oh, what is this? Oh, these are some roots. Um, so I don't have an aquarium, unfortunately, so I want to uh, just take this off to my local uh, aquarium store. I have a good relationship with them, and I'm pretty sure they will take them for me. Uh, this is not like a sales uh, video where I'm like showing you uh, how much money can you make from this. I mean, this is just me that I need to clean this, clean these bioreactors before they move. But I mean, you can definitely sell these plants. Uh, you can sell this online or locally. Uh, pretty sure there are some people that will take them. But anyways, uh, hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, move is going to be here at start tomorrow. It's probably going to take me still a few more, another week at least to get the the uh, lamina flow hood, and then that was pretty much going to be the move. I think that will be everything. Hopefully, I'll be uh, running the, the new lab in the next couple of weeks or so, and then I'm pretty excited because I want to have a much better setup than what I have in here. I want to have everything a little bit easier for me to, to work so that's going to be exciting uh, well anyways I hope you have enjoyed it and then I will see you in the next video goodbye hey everyone thanks for watching the video if you're enjoying these Hitchu culture videos be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content and if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.